Mukama yeba zikwe. Amina. Niba amani no kula chini. No kila. You know the Bible declares that you are more than conquerors. Meaning that you have already conquered and you are at another level of conquering. Praise the Lord. The truth of the matter is, challenges will always be there. Hmm? If you will be Jacoba, they will find a billion in the government to create deal with a billion in peace. There will always be a challenge. Amina, what that means is that we need to program ourselves to be in a worshipful mood, whether things are good or not. Praise the Lord. Why will a song a billion in the government? I've understood two reasons why people go through challenges. Maybe three, but I'll talk about two. Number one, it could be the devil bringing challenges in your life. And such challenges are sorted by prayer. So that God can come through and intervene and you know defeat the enemy on your behalf. Praise the Lord. Amen. But there is also a challenge that comes when it is not from the devil. But it's a training of God. That one also you come out by prayer. But that prayer will not help you defeat God who is challenging you. That prayer will grow you into the kind of person that God wants you to be. Come here, Brazil. Eh, eh, so much. What is so much that you have to go and come back? I will not go to Obere. I will go to Fenemu. Come and I will not see you again. Yes. Ochimani, abalo kwa mwenye mwenye kwa fene, ne mukama wa fe katonda, tumu sivye, mli njia yes, ne tumu sule. Because we have been convinced that because Jesus came, life must be only a smile. That's a lie from hell. If God wants to train you for ministry, for example, if God wants to train you to be a successful businessman, you will try out as many businesses as possible, and they will fail. Why they fail? So you can pick a lesson and the next time you become a better person. Why should you this name so moza? You come about 10 the car. See, I'm going to go to the business. 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 In other words, for every challenge we are going through, we need to do some spiritual research. And sniff in the spirit in order to understand is this God training me or it is the devil so that I can kick him out in Jesus' mighty name. I mean, I Today, I mean, I'm not the sharp. Our generation has even entertained the devil worshippers and have become associate pastors. Why? Because we don't have the mechanism and the economy to do spiritual research. And that spiritual search is only a result of your intimacy with God. Come here, sir. But I know you come. Oh, then you come from before. The gent was standing on the ground, boy, I need it now. At work, I shall be with you now, Caesar, not Caesar. That's why our generation is very sensitive. If you're not careful, my brother, my sister, you will marry a sea goddess at your home. And she will serve God with you on the pulpit. Mm. If you're not sensitive in the spirit, and then everything you do will be destruction. I have come to learn over time that the devil is more determined than Christians are. Stand, Biakola, Athade Mwaman, Government, Nabana, Bate, Deka, Obzizo, Wakabam, Kama, Take up my mind.
Kukana kuna kuhito na kudayo tiktok kwa nilu kamba Mukama wangi Nga kukana ba tiktok kuzi Bayo gila nchi ya wasumba wakona bino Nile nai sora kwa kukuka Oloza kwele uja kuita uo Haa ni musumba ina wana wani For me, I had so many rumors about pastors I was scared of going to churches No churches, but Lord He will tell you, did you ask me to show you the correct church? Look chapter 9 Verses 1 to 2 in your Bible. The Bible declares, Then called he twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority. Over what? Over all the devils and to overcome disease. And he sent them to preach the gospel of God, the kingdom of God, and to heal the sick. I repeat verse 2. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. There are two points I pick from this scripture. All God has to say, what to say, oh, what is Look at me, that also can not look with baby garbage. Now I tell you, now I tell you, I may give you a woman, 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 I may and he called his disciples unto himself and gave them power. But beyond power, he gave them authority over all devils and diseases. But this authority was for a purpose. The authority and power was so that they can be able to preach the kingdom of God. There is a difference between preaching the gospel and preaching the kingdom. Why we enter all over the world? We need to go to the world. We need to go to the world. We need to preach the gospel. You don't need authority and power because the gospel can be anything. They can come here and speak politics, and I call it the gospel because I'm in charge. I can come here and begin preaching other pastors, and it becomes the gospel. But preaching the kingdom means I will be tapping the heart of Christ and speaking it unto the hearts of people. To preach the kingdom. I think that Mukama program Jaliko Nange J man to get a poem. Muse Mukasera. Katwalo government is a bully energy. Nega and bully that young. So I'm sure they come at the bully energy language again in what I mean. That is the difference between preaching the gospel and preaching the kingdom. Why does preaching the kingdom require power and authority? Preaching the kingdom requires power and authority for one reason. So Who can guess? There are two kingdoms. For you to preach the kingdom of God means there is a war that you're bringing into action. Because there is another kingdom that you're dislodging. By preaching this kingdom of God, there is another kingdom that you have to dislodge. If you think you can dislodge the kingdom of darkness only by John 3.16, you are in trouble. Katuti, 
Nenjogere sawa namba ne sabu ni tochi tegi Kwa tu liyotu nukuogera kumutuwechi E sawa namba Kakati kwe Musa cha kwe Ola mkazi kwa lino ya wawata kusonja kuna yola Kwe Toi na sete kwe Bia kwe Wato silana Zoe kwa tenta wala lena kwa msa jawali Kwa 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 E do biba de gambo, si ti gambo. Amen. Kati na awo mwono, o ina kuwango ono nye ti gambo, si mi gambo. Amen. O waka waka. Ti te ngeza kukula. Yes, we chao mwone te wano. The outfit reason why Jesus came on earth was to train soldiers like you and me. To be able to assist him to extend his kingdom. To preach the kingdom. He came to raise people, to raise associates, to raise people he can work closely with, such that they can be able to extend the work he started by preaching the kingdom. What was his first word when he was preaching the gospel? He says, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. It was not the gospel of God is at hand. No. There is a gospel according to somebody who wrote it. But there is a gospel according to the kingdom. That is even deeper. Because these words written in the Bible, anyone can read them and interpret them the way they want. I mean, I know. Why do we have a child? Oxyzi, I can't do that. I mean, I know. 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 Why did God save you? The flesh of the gospel. We have a challenge. If we don't understand why we came to church, to be, to be a part of the body of Christ, mm -hmm. if we don't pay attention to understand why, you see, being a child of God is not only a privilege. It's also a responsibility. I repeat it. Being a child of God is not only a privilege, but it is also a responsibility. Oh, 
I always want to be the son because that responsibility is too much. I've told my friends that for me, my people might say, you are just glorying in your small stature in society. But the truth of the matter is, I wouldn't admire to be a first son in any country. Me as Michael. The pressure is too much. But that shows you the concept I'm sharing with you. That to be born of God has a responsibility. Amen? Now, when God created the man in the garden of Eden, he gave him a responsibility. That dominion, you see? That responsibility still comes back to you and I after we receive Jesus. Because I don't know who is that. Why do we get born again? What does it mean? Is it a change of religion? Maybe you got tired of Ali. Now you are come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. can you say you can't there is a divine mandate tied to life. Amen. There is a seed of the incorruptible that is in the inside of which has to be utilized to expand an incorruptible kingdom here on earth. That is your responsibility and mine. Because Nathan why do we have challenges on earth? I told you the two sources of challenges. When God is looking for a vessel to use to extend his incorruptible kingdom, there is a process he will take you through until you can be able to do that. Now, the problem with our generation, we have been convinced that every process God takes you through is as if you're sleeping on there are these mattresses which have water in them. Right? Mm -mm. There is a process called training. Why won't you eat a mugam kama? I guess I'll go. Or put ten data. Or you'll go to Kakulepo. Jana Kosesa. Mama Ham, the way you are full of solo musi. The way you are filled with gul. I what is that? What's the word representing in Uganda? Okchikirebu. Katimukwano kwano. Nanga yimite wano. Wano process the naita mo kwanga so wala kwa musumba wuu. So what that? Nanu kwa mwe kosi. Ah, yame gawin. Ay yesu. Ay yesu. Zikita nanu kwa mwe kwa. Zikita nanu kwa mwe. Yosu nanu kwa mwe kwa. Kino kosi. Maiku mpasa kasi dalo. Aposo maiku. Ah ah. Why no process? Praise the Lord. There was a process. Amen. So, for you to become a winner in this world, there is a process. Mm. It is so sad that our generation doesn't want to hear that. And the men of God, I'm not talking of the men of God, but the men of God, the men of God have been saying it about that. To see the kingdom as Mamaji Mukalisa. Yes, on the watch, on the camera, the number of people. I think we will never move on with Why? Because we have not been entrenched in the way of doing things of the kingdom where we come from. When you're going to become a diplomat and ambassador, there is a training you go through. Ambassador mentioned it again. Ogwan was in Uganda. They don't see me catch in and go up and play with the Uganda and the Nambo here. But we have taken a million people by the embassy, no fool are you. Because we have a diplomat, we need to say we need to get a job. We have a bank in the rich country. Ah, we have to take a number. We have to take a call. We have to go to Cuba. 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 The Bible declares that the things of the world teach us the things of heaven. There are principles we see here on earth that came and originated from heaven. The concept of diplomacy and ambassadory is a principle of heaven. So when heaven sends you, there are some expectations. But you will not just land them in one day. There is a process. 
Amina yo. Si vous voulez que vous ayez un peu de temps, vous ayez un peu de temps. Vous ayez un peu de temps. Vous ayez un peu Amina yo. Si vous voulez que vous ayez un peu de temps, vous ayez un peu de temps. Thank you, Lord. Thursday, je ne sais pas si vous avez un peu de temps. 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 Then you want to say I have vision, then the baby now will let you. But the other one was the other way around. The woman is the vision bearer, and the gentleman is the supporter of the vision. And then I asked, What's the history of this woman? He said, Ah, that one. She got born again and she was burning. Now, in the process of seeking hard after God, praying to God for children, inconsistent fastings and prayer, the Lord appeared and said, Bring away. In as much as you're looking for children, I called you to ministry. It's a training process. What does God do when He wants to get your attention in order to raise you to a requisite level to be used of Him in terms of anointing amounts? There is a challenge He puts on, and in the process of crying out to Him, sort a challenge, He appears as this by the way, read There is a process we are supposed to. This is the work I pay. The children are the ones who want to you can have faith, but it is a mandate. That's how it works. Hallelujah! Just take a look at what you will reserve. Because we see some church of the work of the Lord. Toy the man! Toy the man! This is a good. A couple of things. No one has a couple of things. 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 We have beautiful examples to that effect. Don't go to the scriptures, but I will read the scripture to you in the details of time. Samuel, first Samuel. You remember Anna, the mother of Samuel? The Bible declares that not even a word of Prophet Samuel fell to the ground. But they are not going to be accurate. I tell you, Muntu, Yalina B, Gata Afuka, Mula Muzi. Omar only has a special. They are power process. There was nobody bewitching Anna. Penina was not bewitching Anna, not to have children. Yakuta is never put as Lady Alimurogo. Nay, Anna, no, 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 Kachotechikwa. <laughs> I look at the thing we call Christianity in our generation, and I get worried. That's why I was at the man of God made a declaration and said, There are people from among you that were in town that the Lord is calling. He's sending you to the villages to declare the word of God. You know what people reply? Fire! Yeah, I must be in town. And I looked at these people and said, Do you know how good over it is? We have defined. I'm going to minister as a real ministry. The moment the Lord says, I'm sending you to Karamoja. Ah, no, it can't be you. Is it you who spoke? I need to confirm it. You see? A sister is believing God for a husband. And the revelation comes without question. You understand it, the husband. Oh, you understand it? Have you got that? Mukama was a little pregnant with him. I will come on, but then Busa, Mukama, why do I want it? Not my brother, son. Fire, stand silent, and go to the room. I will come on, but then just a moment. I 
Hayu kama kilo proseke ni kama nataka omani ni kama chawa ndikiwa ndi kama wala adam na aliyeka no mfano mwenzi muri kadi ya Yesu jina ke bamsuke muko ola muchayo oba ali mu America oba ali sudani muchayo muri kadi ya Yesu no muka muka mu ali mu kama ogedo poleso brother sad fire fire you stand hakati eh eh let's go you are Jesus. Obedience is a sacrifice we offer mm. in order to accomplish the training process of God. Obeying God is not comfortable to the flesh, but it is productive to the spirit and to the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen. Now, me, I, my job is to train you. I am not here to tell you a salvation that is a lie. The truth of the matter is we have lived the life for so many years. A sister or brother comes to a pastor to be prayed for over challenges. Don't worry, Lord is good. He's going to bless you. But why don't you tell this sister that this is a process? Let us go through it for the purpose of the kingdom. And you cannot even blame the pastor because the pastor is also not aware. Because the people who made him had the same perception. The Bible declares when a blind man leads a blind man, they both fall in a ditch, but the other one is still Papa. I don't see his being Papa, even when I'm asleep. But I can assure you, there are so many scriptures which can prove that Jesus' intention was that we preach the kingdom. Not a gospel. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Why did they receive power to preach the kingdom? I've already explained to you. There is that other kingdom we are called to dislodge. Why does God save you from the family? Let me ask you. God was like, why are you going to go now? Some of you are from families and you are know, the first person to give your life to Jesus. And you have not even asked yourself why. You think it's a question of going to church and the man of God declares, maybe he puts his hand on you and you roll and our chairs get broken and then the ushers pick you up, you keep keep. No, it's beyond that. She's a spiritual sister. But now I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that. She's a spiritual brother. Mtu na kusabira mnani ingato no school age na tuje na tuko ambaza hatu mnani kwa wewe it goes beyond that praise the Lord Amen Amen so thank you Jesus the Lord is counting on you and me seriously I'm telling you the truth He is counting on you and me to be able to be used as agents. Ambassadors and vessels to extend his kingdom. He's counting on Michael, counting on you. Mukama to Muli, the Gunaka Makaji, who are now an aqua. Because I just call it, it's my name, an aqua. I'm ready for two now. Mukama to was a call it, an aqua. So get away. And now we have a story about a young girl that ran from Kama. So you are a jack puller, eh? And now, because I was so very poor, eh? Where are now? I don't know where you are. Let's go back to the school again. And now, what? Heaven is always taking a record of how far we have gone in the growth process. That's why the Bible tells me the Lord has made me over scripture. In Luke chapter one, the last verse, chapter one, must be eight. There is a growth process that puts you in a position to be able to execute that which God called you for. Everybody who comes to the same knowledge of Jesus has a purpose why he comes to Jesus. You may be saying, yeah, you can say, I'm still a student. Uh -uh. It doesn't matter whether you are a student or a pupil. There is a reason why the Lord calls you out of Luke chapter 1, verses 80. This book is talking about the servant who told John the Baptist, the preacher of the coming of Jesus. 
The preparer of the way to the coming of the Lord. The Bible declares, and the child grew and was strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until his day of being shown unto Israel. What was he growing in? Wouldn't he have grown into his house or in his father's home? So Morino Ruka which nana. Jomana Nakula and Yatu Seu. Jomana Nakula. Uh-huh. Nayoga Waka Mani Mumoyo. 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 Nayoga Waka Mani Mina wina akabila kuwe akatunotoni kwa ino kumaliza nuru ongela kwa amani mwoyo ndoko ya mchaka nwote kikene mwuru wali wolo kini imbi wo tezee kana kwa ino kumaliza muko amen olioko yonge weka amani mwoyo olioke ope mchipanya nchaba ntua banji Yokana ya kena mudungu. Nebo yu kwa mudungu nga atole mufamile yu. Nga atole ya kena inga mbuji. Okutuso runa kuruji mwole la visiwa. Esekeka cholo na kuru. Mwe watu ka. Mkama nara wadaga majomana akuze. Mwoyo. Nemu magezi. Nemu gumikiliza. Nemu ufumu. Katika tumusili ke israeli. Awendo kuja kwa mkama kuru. Katinawo. Olinga yokana. The Bible declares that the things that are written were written for our learning. Have you come to the knowledge of Jesus? There is a purpose. Every blessing that God gives a human being, material blessing that we receive, is intended to fulfill the purpose of Jesus, to extend the government. Now, you and I, when we give up for whatever reason. But we vow, the one is over the other two was able. It's a man. What? What's the second one? Go many people that I'm running by the end of the day. What you got to do? You go around to the south again. I want to be a man. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. Yes. Yes. In other words, I'm trying to emphasize the point. If we give up for whatever reason, giving up on Jesus for whatever reason, kind of will see so much in that. We know the prophet who was on his sick bed that was still prophesying to the kings of Israel. Elisha, I just prefer you. Mukamba got to go. So what? What have we done? No, we have to go. Elisha, you have to go. 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 It is possible for God to give you all the money you need in one day. You can wake up one day and just one deal, boom, and you have a billion shillings in your account. God can do it. But for what? For what reason? So I'm trying to emphasize. If we give up on following hard after Jesus for any reason, then we shall not be justified on the last day. It's so because the people who have lived before us endured even harder circumstances than we are enduring today. And yet in our time, he has made it easy. You can talk heaven in prayer and the blessing comes to you. Luke chapter 9, verses 59. 
And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and buy and say goodbye or bury my father. That's the point he's trying to raise here. In verse 61, the Bible declares, and another said, Lord, I will follow you, but let me first go and say goodbye to those at home. There's always an excuse. What does Jesus say in verse 62? And Jesus said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. There are so many years of Uganda.
Endala mbele zake za kufukula ne zimuka na ya magwa ne gazitumita de kera zo kumala. Ebi wozo BNC. Bija kwangu yo kuja kumukama ne chigambo to kula makumu meme yo. Kubanga tota de yo meyo kujiku ya chimala ya mukama. We watch money. According to scripture, umuntu umukule. Eshitono nyo choyino kumala masura mukama na kusawe nyo. You may think I'm lying to you. When Jesus was about to be crucified while agonizing in Gethsemane, he finds his disciples, the apostles, sleeping and says, You can't even watch with me for an hour. It was like a surprise. Even an hour is impossible to you. You people, after training you, I gave you power and you went and cast out devils in Matthew 10. And we time telling me, Lord, even devils were subject to us in your name. Now, you can't even watch with me an hour. It was a shock to you. But that means, minimum a child of God should enjoy the presence of God on a day. Minimum an hour out of the 24 hours of the day. If that is not the case, there is a possibility that you held the plow and you are already on the process of looking back. And chances are high, according to the words of Jesus, that you may not be fit for the kingdom. My desire is that you turn around and hold the plow again. Let me tell you one thing. It is impossible. And don't be deceived by whoever tells you another. I don't care how popular they are. I don't care how big they are. Hmm? Anybody who convinces you that you can live a life on earth that is not focused on Jesus and you still end up in heaven is not a friend, he's lying to you. Mtu wewe mubili kwe kukula na wola wae. Ose ye. Na ye mungangi yesu wacha. Eh. Florence. Chapu. Gudi. Rachel. Michael. Eh. Ha ha ha. Yenu kwa ya mwesu. Oku yingile guru. Yingile wawa wate kuhunsi gulele wali communication na yo. Kati mbili kufa ufi ni yo nene communication ni yeba yo. Toja kufa mubala yo nungu yenge kuhu. Mwanja. Yesu nzise. Aa. It doesn't work that. My brother, my sister, let me tell you the truth. There is a responsibility you have as a child of God. If you're not born again, you have a responsibility to accept Jesus. Because the Bible is very clear. Except you be born again, you will not enter the kingdom of God. As simple as that. Amen. In other words, you will not be a part of what God is doing here on earth and in eternity. My brother, my sister, you know there are things I look at and my spirit is really troubled. Eh? And I am scared on a daily. I told people at the crusade, I said, you have already listened to these words. It's on record that you listen to the gospel. Mm. That Jesus is the way to heaven. Mm. Whether you run away without confessing him, that doesn't matter. But you have already listened to these words. It's on record that heaven will pull them out and say, okay, did you hear the gospel? Yes or no? There is no middle ground. There is no explanation. Say yes and no answer. Now that's why I'm imploring you. I'm taking my man. If you are come up, you are going to soak up ziba. Why should you soak up ziba? Why are you going to soak up ziba? Come to me. I am wrong. It was not a simple decision for him to take. God had the capacity to say, "Now that man has fallen to hell with him." He just close us and continue. To all the people who are not going to be able to get in the way, they are going to be able to get That's God's care. But He just gave us an opportunity and said, But this person in our image, what do we do for you? Just give him a chance. 
You are far better off than the devil and his angels, for they don't have a second chance. You and I have a second chance, and that's why we can move in confidence through Christ Jesus. But if we don't utilize this confidence, the great privilege that has been given unto us, then the trouble awaits us. The blessing you need on earth in material things is hidden in a bottle called obeying God and not only obeying Him but continuously till the end. That's why your blessing is given. Why do we do things? Once you enter the kingdom of God and take a hold of His blood, it means that your entire being is a vehicle that extends the kingdom of God here on earth. Your entire existence, your energies, your money, your beauty if you have it, you are this very good height if you are a, a handsome man, you know, not a fake guy. Hmm. You use it for the glory of God. <laughs> it means whether you're going to school, that becomes your platform. Amen. Tell the young people about the gospel. If you're going to make your wonder, wonder, at that stage, that is your platform. Jesus is Lord, guys. If you're in an office, those corporate hot looking people, the cool people in the corporate world, if you're born again and you're silent about Jesus where you are, brother, sister, trouble awaits you. We are sent in different dimensions of society to represent Christ, but unfortunately, we have been sent and the nation has transformed us into their system. You are a medic in hospital. You, somebody comes and is evident the demon possessed and your, your issue is banal. Why don't you issue banal and say, by the way, brother, here is a word of prayer in addition to banal. Why? Because we have lost out on one principle called kingdom mindedness. You want God to give you a blessing here on earth. Heaven is saying, yes, we can give it to you, but where is our benefit? The return on investment. Hmm? Oh, wow. Or you tell them, we come up home, we come up, 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 we Jesus resurrected. 
It goes back to what we talked about. When you come to Jesus, even when you're just telling people Jesus is Lord, it must be with power. Because your intention is to dislodge another kingdom. Because you are supposed to preach the kingdom, not a mere gospel. We preach the kingdom in order to dislodge another kingdom. If the kingdom of God was already fully established on earth, there would be no preachers. There would be no people being saved. But because the kingdom must have members and subjects to it, there are people who should stand for it and represent its norms, values, and system of doing things. Muman, Simonafu, and with great power, gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of Jesus, and great grace was upon them. Do you know where grace comes from? There are so many dimensions of grace. There is a grace you partake of as a result of spending time in the Almighty God tapping power. And when you use that power to extend his kingdom, there is a grace that comes upon you to sustain you. Amen. If the grace, my brother, that you're talking about is a grace of complacence, the grace of compromise, the grace of powerlessness, then we may have to revisit the scriptures to define the word of grace. When you encounter God so intimately, when you serve Him so intimately, at a level of power, what is power? There is a man of God who can open his mouth and speak just one scripture. Even without telling you this man is a preacher, you can feel this, these words are strong. This is the power that they are also exhibited. They declared the reality of the resurrection of Christ. And even people who had them were attached. And by the way, because of interfacing God up to a level of power, interfacing with Him until you attain power, even material things were provided. Yes, we have been deceived. That when you pay attention on how to sustain yourself materially, no, the Bible declares in Acts chapter 4, verse 30, but let's read the Bible together. The Bible declares, neither was there any of them that lacked anything, and yet their focus was on getting power to declare the word of God. Or the total of the one who is the one who is the one who is the I'm a member of that church. My pastor is so and so. It goes beyond that. He said the principle. It is a kingdom issue. It is a warfare issue because there is another kingdom we are trying to dislodge. And we have been assigned that to dislodge that kingdom. If we look back, according to Luke 9, 36, I mean 62, no man who puts his hand on a plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. I want to encourage you to ask God for grace to sustain you, not to put your hand on a plow and be among those who look back. It's a danger. Because as too much is given, much will be required. Every form of incomplete obedience that we do is counted as disobedience because we didn't finish the plan that was tied to our lives before we existed here on earth. We are <laughs> mm, 
He chooses the stupid things of this world. Now, because the devil, Lucifer, could not accept the principle of being foolish. You know, so you want to be wise, eh? Okay, you be wise. You want to go We want more chance. They are so happy. Yes. Yes. There is a danger in trying to be wise before God. Mm. And you know what? We are a generation of wise developers.
But there are some lands they say that will let these pleasures stay. In complete obedience. And you know what? Those people years later became a problem to them. Abana we say go was of India and say so busy. Now when you pray busy where you should come and have a gamba. Mudwanya mutwala mawanga gunna. But now I'm going to go to the house. 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 i where did this man come from? The descendant of Agag, the king that Saul refused to destroy when he was sent to destroy the Amalekites. In complete obedience before God is disobedience because it curtails the proper advancement of his kingdom. And he sent them out to preach the kingdom. And that's what you and I are supposed to follow today. Judges 1, verses 28, as I close. Thank you, Jesus. Names of one beast, they will be sick the other. And it came to pass when Israel was strong, they put the Canaanites to tribute and did not utterly drive them out or destroy them. Judges chapter 1, verse 28. Well, Israel was strong. In other words, it had the capacity to drive them out, but they didn't use their capacity to drive out the Canaanites. And they decided to subject them to tribute, which was not the original instruction of God. No man who lays his hand on a flower and looks back his feet for the kingdom. Therefore, this was a frustration to the kingdom of God. Israel <laughs> Why? Joshua was old and elder at that time, but the instructions were very clear. Israel was strong. The Bible says when Israel became strong, instead of using their strength, that is grace, to drive out, dissolve the kingdom of darkness, what they said to do was to embrace it and live with it and smudge it. And that was not the original plan of God. But here I told you, why does the Bible say, and he gave them power and authority, and he sent them to preach the kingdom? It's the dislodgement of another kingdom, and declaring the will, the perfect will of God here on earth. The perfect will was that all the Canaanites ought to be dislodged. And the power was available because the Bible has told us, and it came to pass when Israel was strong, that's power and authority. They never used it. They decided to compromise. You have power and authority on you to dislodge the powers of darkness, to dislodge all the doings and systems of the enemy. If you don't use that power, it is akin to this one. Judges 1.28. Yeah. My brother, my sister, I came to declare to you that except we accept the sharpening process of God, we are likely not to be usable in his kingdom. It's as if we held the plow and looked back. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 8 in your Bible. The Bible declares that though he was a son, yet he learned to obedience through the things he suffered. We are Hebrews chapter 5, verse you have a process to go through in order to be usable. 
Jesus qualified for the cross. Why? Because he fulfilled the requirement of obedience. Amen. If the obedience amount was to be a full bottle, he would not die for you if the water was there. He would not fulfill that mandate. But he became a perfect sacrifice and God said, yes, now it is time to go to the cross. Meaning had we been crucified at the age of 31, there would be a problem. He had to be crucified at 33, having fulfilled his obedience requirement. Now this comes back to you and I. We also have an obedience requirement. I began by sharing with you and told you, not everything we suffer on earth, not every disadvantage, not every ill treatment that we suffer is because the devil is against us. Sometimes it's a training process of God until we are pruned enough to a level of being able to fulfill the will of God. And that's when we can be able to declare the kingdom to this Lord, the kingdom of darkness. Stand up and pray. We have to get away. Come here, let's see. Why am I asking you to come over here? I'm asking you to come over here. Come here, let's see. 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 Leo si chapa la bali wechila ba la kusiri. Kati mukama mukana mo ai katonda wa. Muftufu na ndiwa na kuata kuchirima ateni chuli la mamega. 